It was a day much like today. There was much planning still happening throughout our city, in our homes, the sounds of wrapping paper being cut, of holiday music, of dinners to be cooked. The holiday spirit in New York City is legendary and for good reason, because once you've experienced it, you're hooked. And amidst that holiday spirit, there's the rush of some last minute shopping of all the many little things that are still left to be done. And for many, that particular day went on as planned. For others, there were some unavoidable delays. After a phone call, Maritza's husband assured her that he would be off of work shortly and would join her to finish up the last of the Christmas shopping. What she or no other sane person walking the earth knew is that a mere moments later, unexpectedly and without any provocation, without any warning, their lives and the lives of the Lou family were forever to be changed, completely shattered. What has remained since that day is a wound that seems to never allow itself to heal and probably never will. I invite you to remember that day for yourself when the news broke and landed upon your ears and then traveled down your spine and into your belly. The news resonated and it deflated and it sickened and it angered and ultimately it broke your heart. I ask you to imagine what it must have sounded like to hear the rapping of those knuckles on the doors of the Ramos and the Lou home and the opening of those doors to reveal members of the police department there to deliver the most horrible, heartbreaking news one could ever deliver and receive. For those reasons and so many more, we as a foundation have committed the years that we have on this earth to the memories of these two great men. Detectives Rafael Ramos and Wenjian Lu, cementing our commitment to ensuring that we truly keep our part of the agreement, the one that we all made, that we never forget, and that their names forever resound for all to know and learn of. Six years ago today, Rafael Ramos and Wenjian Lu were serving and protecting the citizens of our great city and were executed simply because of the color the cloth they wore as they sat in their marked patrol car. What many don't know is that Rafael Ramos was about to become a chaplain at his local church and that Wenji and Lou was a newlywed having enjoyed only but a few months of his blissful marriage. Today, tomorrow, forever and ever, we will never forget these two great men. And today, we reaffirm our commitment to the strengthening of their legacies and to their families.